Hey everybody, today we're going to do a little annealing of some 6061 T6511 aluminum. Um, we're going to get a little bit technical here. Um, it's uh, been a, a challenge to find some information and I realized that uh, I'm, I'm a mechanical engineer, got a master's degree in mechanical engineering, professional engineering license. Talk to some buddies who work with aluminum every day and uh, find some information on, on tube bending of uh, specific alloys is, is a little difficult. So um, I had to do a little experiment on my own this morning and uh, figured out that despite what I'd read on the internet, you can anneal uh, T6511 uh, aluminum tubing and I needed to do that in order to bend it. I tried bending this um, this inch and a half um, O125 yeah, wall aluminum tubing um, yesterday and it split on me as soon as I started to bend it. Maybe at five degrees and got a big crack, uh, which is not that uncommon in aluminum. Uh, bending aluminum can be a challenge. But I've done it before, I knew I could do it, and I've, I've had good luck with T6. So I uh, started doing a little bit of research and found out there's conflicting information all over the internet. Imagine that the internet isn't all the truth. Um, so I just decided to try it. I already paid for the aluminum and I have a torch. Uh, so I, I figured I'd give it a whirl. So um, just a little bit of background. T6 is heat treated aluminum, um, artificially aged. Um, T6511 is heat treated artificially aged aluminum that has also been slightly stretched for stress relief and then straightened um, to, to be within tolerances. And so it has a little bit, a um, little bit more uh, residual stress in it, it seems. You know, they call it stress relieving. It seems to have a little more residual stress from the stretching. Um, so on the, online, there's a lot of conflicting information about whether or not you can anneal that with a torch. So this morning I got a propane torch and uh, fired it up and um, sure enough, it, it worked. Um, I, I heated it up, cooled it off, and I hit the bender on and, and it worked. So uh, without further ado, I'll give you a, a quick shot of, of how I heat it up with the torch. Um, I'll probably speed up most of the film and uh, then you'll, you'll see the, the bending in a, in a future video when I show off the, the uh, JD Squared Model 3 uh, bender with the uh, electrical hydraulic setup that I use for my tube bending. So without further ado, um, here's, here's the torch part of the, uh, the heat treatment pro or the, uh, the, the annealing process. Um, All right, so I'm back. I uh, got the flame going now, and I'm gonna start heating up the actual piece of aluminum here. Um, online, a lot of people recommend doing this with an oxyacetylene torch setup, and getting the black soot from the acetylene and burning that off. You know, when you're up to temperature. Um, I don't have an oxyacetylene setup, so I'm just using the propane and just working the the flame back and forth, trying to not get any spot too hot um, relative to the rest. Uh, I'm just heating up about a 8 inch section. I have a mark over here on, on the side I'm on uh, of where the bend will begin. And I'm heating just an inch or so beyond that. And then I'm heating about 8 or so inches of the area of bend. Um, I just am slowly working. It's an 8th inch wall, so I don't want to rush it. Um, I, I, found that about five, 10 minutes of slowly working the heat back and forth uh, from side to side. Um, seemed to work pretty well. And then I let it cool completely before I actually start the bend. Um, this actually will bring it back to uh, close to a normalized condition. Um, I don't actually know for sure what temper it's bringing it down to since um, I haven't done a lot of testing but it, it softens it enough that it will allow it to bend i'm using this part in a non-critical area it's um, essentially a bumper on something so i'm not concerned about the fact that i'm not re heat treating this when i'm done um, it's actually be welded together as part of an assembly so uh, i'm not overly concerned about the the fact that this aluminum will be a little bit softer. After you anneal it and then you cold work it by bending it, it actually will build back some of that uh, 
stiffness, but it, or, or not stiffness, it was strength, uh, yield strength. But, um, like I say, it's not critical that this, for its use, is actually a true T6 in its final state, and after being welded and everything, it'll, it'll all be, uh, it'll all be fine for the, the purpose I'm using. So I'll go ahead and hit fast forward on the film here and uh, zoom you through the next five minutes or so of me just working the heat back and forth and uh, then come back to the end and, and just end the video. All right, so we got the tubing heated up now. Um, you can actually watch the little bit of oiliness on the surface kind of burn off the end, and I can see a slight difference. I don't know how well it shows up on camera. Uh, there's a slight difference in, in the, the tone of the, the shine of the outside of the metal. Um, and when I was working with this earlier today, that worked really well to be a good indicator that it seemed to be up to temperature. Um, now I'll go ahead and leave it sit for about half hour, 45 minutes, cool back off, uh, work on some other projects, and then I'll come over, I'll do this bend, flip it around for the project I'm doing, I have to do a bend on each end of this tube, and uh, bend the other end, and then I will, um, I got one more to do, so I got four bends total. Um, the one this morning was just a practice bend, so I got four more bends to do, and then I'll, uh, um, be done with this, this particular part of the project. Uh, so thanks for watching and uh, you know this is just proof that annealing 60 uh, or uh, yeah 6061 T6 511 tubing is uh, possible and it's uh, not impossible it's possible the propane torch in your garage. Uh, I'll grab the one I did this morning and show you the uh, the broken end versus the bent just to show the difference. So here's my practice tube from this morning. The first bend is here on the end. You can see sheared off immediately. Um, that that didn't didn't hold up at all. Um, and the second bend after annealing, like I say, after I let this cool, I put it in the bender, hit it with some uh, white lithium grease to lube it, and it bent quite nicely. Um, it it was amazing the the difference um so yeah um you can anneal it at home uh t6 511 uh 6061 tubing with propane torch uh thanks for watching and stay tuned for future episodes uh, we will actually walk you through bending of this next week thanks